Hello, friends. We're back at it again for homeschool with our um, modified fitness units. Let's get started. Get in, get in your open space. Get ready. Let's move on. Today, you guys will need um, to wear athletic shoes and your athletic clothes as we go um, further within the lesson. Make sure you're also in an open area so you don't cause injury to yourself or others. And you guys can also use a yoga mat or a towel something to make yourself comfortable when you're doing some exercises or stretches on the floor. Okay, what are, what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be doing some dynamic stretching in the beginning as our warm up, And then we're gonna be going into a fitness circuit on our lower and upper body um, with some exercises with modifications added onto them. And then we're gonna have a short health lesson plan. And then you guys are gonna be um, filling out a and finishing a Flipgrid assessment. Okay, let's get to it. Awesome. We're going to be doing activity one, which is going to be our warm up. We're going to be doing uh, dynamic stretches. And for our dy dynamic stretching, Mr. Crew is going to carry, he's going to um, lead that one. He's going to lead the warm up. But I just want to show you guys what stretches we're going to be, dynamic stretches we're going to be working on. And we're going to be doing jog in place. So you, for jogging in place, you want to stay in one place, use your arms and use your legs to pump and um, pump your arms and get your feet up. You can guys dictate your uh, pace of how fast you go for your jog in place. And for the side lunge, just for the cues to go over, you want your feet wider than your shoulders. And then you want to lean to the left to transfer your weight to um, the side that you're stretching on. So if you're uh, stretching your right side, you're going to be lunging to the right and putting your weight on your right side. And then we're going to be doing walking arm circles and we're going to be doing a tricep stretch as well. So for the walking arm circles, you want your arms to be moving in a clockwise position, switch arms and go, then go counterclockwise. And then for our tricep stretch, you want your right arm under in the middle and then pull with your right elbow, pull your right elbow left behind your head as our friend is showing us right here, how she has her right arm. And then she puts it up behind her back where she's kind of touching the center of her back with her palm and then using her left arm to grab that elbow and stretch her arm, like really pulling it across her body a li little bit more to stretch her shoulder and her tricep. So next we got Mr. Crew right here and he's going to be carrying on um, the warm up. So everybody get ready and get in your open area. We're going to get started. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to me and Mr. Wallace's classroom today. Uh, I will be teaching you your warm up. Uh, so I'm outside actually in my driveway, making sure I have a good amount of space to work and then I'm in a safe place. Um, so you guys should probably have somebody watching you uh, if you are outside doing this. If you can't get outside to do it, if it's not too chilly or anything, please get outside and do it. Uh, so I'm going to work with you guys in this warm up. So for the first warm up, we have arm circles. Uh, we're going to be working on our lower and upper body today. So we just want to make sure we work out all parts of our body so that we don't get injured or anything. So here we go. We're going to do some arm circles to start. Uh, so when I say go, we're going to go forward. You guys know we're shoulder width apart with our feet, arms out wide, and we're going to come forward so you guys can get ready. Now that you guys are ready, here we go. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Shake our body a little bit. Get ready. Here we go. We're going to go forward. Everybody can just go with me. I'll tell you guys when to start. Make sure we're not going too fast. We can get some big circles in just like that. Some nice big ones. If you want to go a little smaller, that's perfectly fine. If your arms don't want to do all that, if you want to start small and then go big, that's fine. But let's just get those arm circles in. Just like that. All right, if you guys want to stop, and we're going to go the other way. So this time I'm going to start on small circles, going backwards now. I'm going to start my small circles, gradually make them bigger. Here we go. Now I'm fully big. Going backwards, just like that. Keep it up, get those arms nice and stretched, all those shoulders. We wanna make sure it's nice and stretched out so that when we're doing our upper body and our lower body exercises today, we can make sure we're completely stretched out and we don't get injured. We always wanna prevent injury. We wanna make sure we're staying in a safe place. And we wanna make sure we do things correctly so we don't get hurt. Just like that. All right, you guys can stop. We're going to move on to the next one is going to be jog in place. So as you guys know, feet shoulder width apart, arms to our side. We're jogging in place. We're not tapping our feet as fast as we can, and we're not just going to walk. We're going to be jogging. 
at about 50% of our running pace. So you guys can go. Here we go. Keep it up, get them knees nice and warm. Maybe you get them a little higher, just get them nice and warm, ready to go. Just jogging in place, not too hard. We want to make sure we don't tire ourselves out for our exercises today. Just keep it up, keep jogging. If you want to jog a little forward, a little back, it's perfectly fine. Keep it up. We got a little bit longer to go. Jogging forward, jogging back. Maybe we're jogging in a circle. That's fine. Or we can jog in place. So if we're inside, we're going to make sure we're staying in place. If we're outside, we can change it up a little bit. Keep it up. All right, you guys can stop. Hands above your head if you're tired. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, for our last and final warm-up exercise, we're going to be doing side, or no, we're going to be doing, yes, yeah, side lunges. So as you guys can see me, sorry to make it a little bit better. So here we go. First, I'm going to go to my right. As we always know, put our L's out in front of us. This makes an L. This does not make an L. Feet a little bit farther than shoulder width apart, as you see me here. We're going to take our right, and we're going to bend. As you can see, my leg is down. It is now in a different shape than just being straight. We're to the side. Then if we want to do it left, we're going to go to the left. So you guys want to get ready, here we go. Get in your position, shoulder width apart. We're going to lean to the right. Lean to the right, put that weight on that front leg, that right knee, that right foot. We're gonna be stretching out all this in here, our groin and all that. We can get it more down if we'd like. Just make sure we don't hurt ourselves. Just like that, keep it up. All right, let's switch to our, going to our left now. Here we go. Our legs should be nice and loose. We just did jog in place and everything. You guys did your arms. We got our arm circles in. Keep that up, just like that. And stop. For the last one, we're gonna do our right arm. We're gonna touch the center of our back. Remember, this is the tricep stretch. We're gonna stretch our arms out. So we're gonna go right hand up in the air, in the middle of our back. Pull with our left hand, and we're gonna pull it to the middle. And we're going to sit here and stretch for a few moments. Then we're going to switch after this. So this is the right tricep stretch. This is our tricep. We're stretching that out. All right, you guys can switch. Now we're left hand in the air. Again, we're going to touch it down to the middle of our back. Middle of our back. Take our right hand. Grab it with our left, just like that. Sorry about our Amazon package being delivered. Just like that. Stretching, keep it up, you're almost there. Pull that thing with your right hand and you guys can stop. All right, that's the warm ups for today. Again, we're gonna be working on our upper and our lower body. So we wanna make sure we stretch our arms and all of our upper body out and we stretch our lower extremities out as well so that we prevent injury. Uh, always make sure you're in a safe place for all these exercises we're doing and make sure that you have someone around you just in case if you do get hurt or injured, they can take care of you. Appreciate you guys as always. Awesome job, Mr. Carew. So um, one question we're gonna leave for you from this warm up is can you name one upper and lower body exercise you know that works on our muscular strength? So once you got your answer, keep it in your head and you're gonna wanna keep that in your head as we move on through our lesson, see if it matches up with your answer. Okay? No. Nope. So for um, activity one, we're going to be doing our fitness circuit. So once again, a fitness circuit, students will learn exercises and movements they can do every day in their homes to stay actively healthy. So we want you guys on your spare time to try to practice these exercises, even with the modifications, that's all right as well, to try to practice them at home to stay fit and stay healthy. Okay, so for activity two, we're going to be doing lunge walk and squat jumps. So to review the lunge walk, you want your feet separated in a walking stance, but extended transfer weight to the front leg as our friend is doing how he's transferring his weight to his front leg. And then back foot keeps toe to the ground. See if once it comes back, you're going to see his toe. See how his toe stays to the ground. You're not lifting up. 
And for your modifications, students can stay in place rather than walk around in the area. So instead of walking in a, like a certain distance, like 10 feet in front of you, you can like lunge, like you step lunge and stay in that one place, like come back up. And then we're gonna be doing squat jumps. So feet shoulders width apart, put pressure on your heels and set you, cause you don't wanna be sitting on your toes when you're um, doing a squat and then sit at a 90 degree angle as you're like sitting in a chair and then go up and down and back straight. You wanna keep that back straight modification. You don't have to go to a 90 degree angle like a friend John is doing here. You can go at a high, like higher level of a squat. So you don't have to like go all the way and put all the weight on your heels as well. So then activity, like for our next exercise, we're gonna do calf raises. So you want your feet shoulders width apart. You want your feet flat, as you can see how he goes to his feet are flat and then go up on his tippy toes, just like he is right there and hold for a few seconds and then go back down. We're gonna be doing that for a minute. And for the modification, students can use walls or objects to keep balance. So if you put like, if you're doing um, your toes, you can have your hands out in front up against the wall. So you can keep your balance when you're going up on your tippy toes as well, okay? So Mr. Karub is gonna go over the lower body. So these are some exercises that you will be um, focusing on um, utilizing your lower body muscles. So that means for your, like your quadriceps, which is your thighs, or your gastrocnemius, which is your muscle on your calves, and your glutes, which is also your, um, your butt muscles as well. So Mr. Crew is gonna lead the lower body uh, fitness exercise with modifications. So everybody get back up in your open space and get ready for Mr. Crew's uh, introduction and lesson. Let's go. Welcome back everyone. Again, it's Mr. Crew. This is being Mr. Wallace's classroom as you guys know already. Uh, so next we'll be doing our lower, or for this, we'll be doing our lower body exercises. Um, so again, I'm outside. Again, I'm in my driveway. Making sure I have plenty of room to do any work. Then I'm spinning. Nobody's around me. No one's out here. It's just me. My mom's actually up on the front porch watching me. So don't feel embarrassed or anything. If your mom or someone or any parent or any guardian is outside watching you, maybe it's an older sibling. Please always want to make sure that you're being safe and you're in a safe place. And if you do get hurt, that there is someone there to take care of you. So let's get into it. I'm going to be doing it with you guys as always today. So for our first lower body exercise, we will be doing squat jumps. I'm gonna explain you guys how to do squat jumps and give you guys some modifications. Just in case squat jumps are a little bit too difficult for you, no big deal, just do these instead, okay? So squat jumps, as you guys already know, my feet are shoulder width apart, my arms are out. I squat down to about knee length, just so you guys see here, knee length. And then when I come up, I'm gonna explode up and jump. So as you guys see, I'm down. Explode up and jump, and like that. For a little modification you guys have, instead of jumping, you can come down in your squat. Maybe you can't squat as low, but you can come down in your squat, and then as you come up, you can just calf raise. So you guys are here, you're down, come up, calf raise. You can calf raise yourself up instead of jumping. We understand jumping is not ideal for everyone, so you could do that. So here we go. For the next 45 seconds to a minute, we're going to be doing jump squats. So here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Keep it up, everyone. Nice squat jumps. Maybe some squat raises. Ah. Ah. Keep it up, everybody, from the side. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up, everyone. You're doing great. And last one. Boom. There we go. For the next one, we have a uh, lunge walk. So for this modification, if you guys don't walk or if you guys can't walk because you don't have enough room, that's perfectly fine. So again, we're going to be lunging forward. As you guys can see me, I'm lunging forward just like that. Lunging forward. Now, as I go away from you guys, I'm going to take multiple steps. So, ready? As you guys can see me coming back, lunge. For every step, we're going to be doing a lunge. So, here we go. You guys can go for about the next 30 seconds. Lunge around your area. Ready? Begin.
Make sure you're keeping those nice balanced. If you don't want to walk around, or just right here, if you can't, put a lunge down, lunge down, lunge down, lunge down, lunge down. Keep it up, everybody. A couple more seconds. A couple more lunges. We're doing great. I know everyone's tired because I'm just as tired as you guys are. There we go. Hard, everybody can stop. Take a deep breath. Hands above our heads. All right, for our last one, we have calf raises as our final lower body exercise. So as you guys can see me, I'm shoulder width apart, just like this. You guys can see my feet. When I come up, I'm all the way to my toes and the back of my feet are off the ground, all the way up, all the way back down. So we want to hold here for one, two, three, come back down, go back up, one, two, three, come back down. If you cannot hold it for, 30, for three seconds, that's perfectly fine. You can get up as high as you can and come right back down. If you need to hold a wall on each side to help you get up a little bit, that's perfectly fine as well. So just be ready. So here we go. For the next 30 seconds, on your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, ah, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. So you guys can do them at your own pace. Again, keep going. You guys, I'm just talking. You guys keep going now. Keep up. We're not done yet. So remember, if you can't do it, you're holding on to a side or something. So I'm holding on to my car right now. So it'll help me push up, push up, push up. So you guys keep it up. You guys got about five more seconds. Ah, One last one as a group. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. All right, everyone. So that's your lower body exercises for this week's fitness activities. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, these are lower body, so we always want to make sure we're completely stretched out and we're doing everything correctly so we don't get hurt and make sure we're in a safe place. Um, you guys will get to do upper body with Mr. Wallace, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys next week. Awesome. Awesome job, everyone. I can't see everybody doing the exercises, but I'm sure everyone's doing a great job. Okay, so you're gonna take one minute real quick. So if you guys can take your water break, you can just use the restroom, grab your water, or you guys can sit here and just take this as a cool down where you can breathe and relax. And you guys gotta be back here before the bomb goes off. So you guys are ready for the next activity, okay? And go. Ten seconds. Okay, awesome, awesome job. Hope everybody's back in their area and are ready to go. So make sure everybody got is hydrated, got your drink of water, so we can move on to the next activity. So, um, actually, that's an error. So for um, let me skip to it. So our health lesson plan is gonna be um teaching you guys different ways on handling and controlling your stress levels. Cause sometimes you can be stressed out from playing games and losing or something like that, or even um, stressed out just from not even getting your favorite food or something. So like, or like just sleep, you're not getting enough sleep and stuff like this. So we're going to watch a nice little health video right quick on showing us uh, different ways to help control and alleviate stress. 
how to decrease stress. Every one of us is hit with some type of stress every day, and how we deal with that stress is crucial to our health. So let's take a look at some ways to deal with, or at least decrease stress. Number one, keep a notebook or journal. Keep a notebook with you for a couple of weeks and write down stressful situations you encounter and how you respond to them. Read through your notes and see if you can find ways to respond differently to those situations that will result in less stress. Number two, slow down. Take a moment and take some deep breaths and allow your body to try and relax and clear your mind. Give yourself some time before reacting to a stressful situation. It's better to react with a clear mind than one that is put under intense stress. Number three, get more active in your life. Exercise is a great stress reliever, as are physical hobbies such as tennis, hiking, or golf. Taking a walk and listening to music are great ways to relieve stress as well. Number four, eat a healthy diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables that have vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber, which help with digestion, proper bodily function, and strengthening your immune system. When your body is properly nourished, it will be better prepared to handle the effects of stress. Number five, make consistent time in your schedule for relaxation and fun. Most days we pack our schedule with the tasks of everyday life, oftentimes not committing the time to doing things we enjoy. You need to make sure your schedule has a list of the things you have to do and the things you want to do. Number six, have strong social connections with people. Building relationships and friendships with people you can lean on can help when times get tough. Sometimes just talking about a stressful situation or getting your thoughts out can relieve a lot of the stress. Your friends can also give you a fresh perspective on the situation and you may realize that things aren't as bad as you originally thought. Number seven, make sure you get enough good quality sleep. Sleep allows your mind and body to rest and repair itself from the daily grind. Lack of sleep or poor quality sleep can negatively affect your judgment and mood, leading to even more stress. Number eight, when you leave work, actually leave work. Don't allow yourself to think about work check work emails, or even talk or text with coworkers if the conversation is going to be about work. Number nine, be grateful for what you do have. Think about everything good in your life. Maybe it's the great relationship you have with your spouse or partner, the wonderful kids you're raising, or a recent accomplishment you achieved. Spend a few minutes thinking about the things that really matter in your life. Number 10, if all else fails, seek professional help. Minimizing stress can be a difficult task, and there's nothing wrong Okay, so um, some of the, like the last two might not like uh di- be uh directly or you can c- find a way to connect to them, but just to review uh different ways to alleviate stress or decrease stress. It's like sometimes you can keep a journal or a notebook, write down stuff in your notebook what is stressing you out or any issues you're um running into, and this is a way you can kind of like think of solutions and res- like um, ways that you can solve in a stress, like writing down, uh, I'm tired from playing, um, doing my homework all night or something like that. And something like writing down a solution that you think that can solve that, like writing down a solution is like, get my homework done early. So I have more time in the end of the day to relax and have some me time. And for the number two, slow down. I kind of went into what I just said. We just want to slow down everything in your life that's coming being thrown at you. You want to take it one by one. You don't want everything. You don't want too much issues on one plate because you never want your plate full. And then the next for the third one, get more like get more active. That's a good encouragement. Like that, I encourage you guys. What we're doing right now is getting active. Like when I'm stressed out, I like to go on runs or just like work out. It's a great way to get your mind off everything and just helps you focus on um um your good health and working with that and then make time for relaxation and fun so you just you also gotta like time manage like you gotta figure out some times of the day when you don't have anything on your plate or your schedule where you could like play play games or um play with your friends like go outside do um activities like that and then have strong connections with people this also goes with that so um, always being communication, communicating with your parents, your friends, your siblings, anything like that. Always make sure you're having good positive conversations and um, dialogue with your friends and get a good quality sweet sleep. This is a big one because when I'm stressed out, the first thing I want to do is have a nice long nap or nice long sleep throughout the night and then wake up feeling not tired because waking up feeling tired 
then you're just tired throughout the day and then it just brings more stress on to you throughout what you have to get done. And for leave work at work, if some of you have a job, like if you do chores around the house and if you get your chores done or something like that and you want to focus on um, having fun or relaxing, don't worry about the chores at that time. Once you get them done, get them done and don't, you don't want to be focusing on what's next, what you have to do, what, what work you have to do. And then for be grateful for what you have, look at the things that you do have, like a roof over your head, shoes on your feet, like think of the beautiful weather sometimes. It's, it's a grateful thing to have. And then for, it says get professional help. I don't like it like that. So professional help, I would just change that word to um, like, if you're stressed out, talk to your parents, talk to some friends, communicate with them especially your parents to ask for advice of ways how to um, decrease stress. So that is our little healthy lesson. So it's very important. Like you guys sometimes breathe, get a good sleep, socialize and exercise to uh, decrease your stress levels that you may run into. These are just like some little uh, techniques that you could do to um, change the stress levels. So uh, moving on to our uh, next the next activity I'm going to be leading you guys into, we're going to be working more on our upper body. So we're going to be doing our upper body muscles, like our biceps, like right here on our arms, then our triceps on the back of our arms, and then our deltoids and our shoulders, like right here as well. We're going to be working on our in our chest muscles as well. So we're going to be focusing on our upper body muscles for the um, muscular endurance and muscular strength fitness components because we want to cover those because muscular strength is um, where you're going to be using your power and controlling like the power of your muscles of lifting weights and muscular endurance is using your muscles, but at a high, like at a higher speed slash pace of um, doing an exercise. Like you're going to be doing like, instead of saying, you know, be lifting 150 pounds of flour, like a bag of flour, like one time you're going to be lifting like say 30 pounds, like 15 times. That's a good example of muscular endurance. So some of the activities we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a push-ups. So you want your back flat, straight arms, your feet together, all the way up, all the way down. Like, and a modification is using your knees to uh, take off the weight as well. And then we're going to be moving into an incline push-up. So it's a different version of a push-up, and but it's also putting more weight towards the top of your body. So almost the same cues as we have over here. And the modification you can use is leaning up against the wall at a smaller angle. And we're going to be doing these for one minute durations with some resting point. Like if you guys want to during these activities or feel tired, you can take like a little few one to three second resting periods. So in the last exercise we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on bench dips. This is a good one for muscular endurance because you're really getting those reps in and you're working your triceps on the back of your arms. I don't know if you can see with my arrow, but I'm pointing at the triceps. And if, if you can see her legs are straight, feet together on her, her heels are on the floor and she's going down to a 90 degree angle on the bench. So if you guys don't have a bench at home, like most of us like don't, you could use like um, your couch, like a couch is a good one or like a really heavy like coffee table that won't flip or cause any damage. Or if you don't have that, we have a modified version of the bench dips. So where you're sitting on the floor, like Mr. Jeff is right there, how his bottom, his legs are so straight and you can see his arms pushing his body up and then going back down to the floor. So I recorded a video right here for us, like Mr. Crew does. So um, I'm gonna start the video. You guys can get in your open space and we're gonna get started, okay? Okay, friends, we're gonna get into our upper body activity we're going to start off with push-ups we're going to be doing each exercise for a minute long so everybody get in your open space we're going to get into a push-up position so push-up position you want your um arm shoulders with this part and some regular um regular push-up position you want your back straight go up and down you want your feet together and for the modification of this exercise we're going to be putting your knees on the floor just like me and like putting your weight towards the front of your chest you're going to go up Go down. That's a modification as well. So we're going to be doing this for a minute, and we're going to. Um, you guys can start in whatever position you would like, and we're going to be doing this for a minute. And for the minute, you can have little resting periods if you get tired, 
So get in ready position and we go. Yep. Keep it up, everyone. Awesome job. I need to just move around a little bit. Keep it up, everyone. Awesome job. Keep it up. Keep working. Working on our chest. Working on our chest muscles. Whew. So if you guys want to take a rest and break, you can take a rest or keep going. Keep it up, everyone. Awesome job. Awesome job. And stop. You guys can stop and get up. Next, we're going to be doing like an incline push up. So you guys can use like a couch. Like, I don't know if you can see my, my position. You guys can use like, um, like I got a table right here. I don't know if you guys see me. You can go up and down on that. Let me just move this around a little bit. See, for my couch, I could do an incline push up like this at an angle where my body is an upward angle and my feet are at a lower angle you guys can do that as well that's also working on your chest and your arm muscles as well and for a modification of this if you guys would like if you guys can't do the incline push-up where you guys feel more comfortable doing this you guys can lean against the wall put more of your weight on the wall on your hand shoulders and shoulders to apart your feet together just like me and then you go up and down distributing weight more forward against the wall. So that can also count as an incline push up. So once I say go, you guys can start and go. So really focus on working your upper body, working up your, on your upper muscles, your biceps, and your forearms and your chest. Keep it up. Keep going, guys. Keep it up, everyone. So start doing my little incline push-ups. Can't see me at that angle. So if you guys want to, you guys can take like a three-second resting period. One, two, three. And get back to it. Working on your muscles. Working out. So really focus on you working your chest muscles because that's what you're going to be working in your arms. So keep up, everyone. Awesome job. Awesome job. You guys are doing great. So keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. If it hurts, take a few seconds of a break. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep on that incline push-up, everyone. Let's go. Awesome. Awesome. You guys can stop in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So for the next one, we're going to be doing like bench dips. Usually you, usually you would have a bench, but like a workout bench behind you. Instead, you can also use your couch just like this. Want your feet straight up, but want your legs straight, just like mine are. You want to angle yourself at an upward angle where your body's up. Then you're going to be really working on your triceps from this one. So you'll go down. Up, down, up, and another modification for this, uh, for the bench dips, you can uh, start on the floor just like I am, Ledge your feet straight out, lift your body up, go up, down, up, down, up, down. You can also take resting periods throughout this one as well. So we're going to do this for close to a minute. So everybody get in your open position, get ready to do your bench dips. And go. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You're gonna be working your tricep muscles and your forearms. Keep it up, everyone. You're doing a great job. Say so awesome work, awesome work. Keep going, keep going. And just keep going. 
Work on those dips. Work on your. Working on those muscles. So keep it up. Good work, everyone. Good work. Keep pushing through it. Almost there. Almost there. We're halfway. We're almost there. About 20 more seconds. So awesome work. Keep it up. Almost there. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is just, so once you guys are done, we just went over activity, activity two, where we're going to be working on our upper body muscles, like your upper body muscles. So you're going to be working on your bicep, I mean, your chest, your biceps, triceps, your deltoids in the back. Be really focusing on working the upper body. Well, Mr. Curry just like when he got done with his activity, he was focusing more on the lower body muscles. And so we threw in the modifications as well. So you guys can do this activity to a certain extent and um, pace yourselves and control how much you guys work. Because once you guys get in that great exercise and staying fit. Thank you. Awesome job for myself. I'm just kidding, everyone. So, um, from one question I want to ask everyone and you guys can hold this answer in your head is what is muscular strength? We've went over it different times throughout the lesson, but keep that answer in your head and because you guys may need it to complete the assessment. Okay. So we're at our, we're at the end of the class. So for our closer, it would great for be awesome if everybody can take out their um, iPods or um, iPads. I mean, um, iPods because that's what we had when I was a kid like little iPods or your phones or something you can scan this barcode and it'll take you to the Flipgrid website and we're just asking um, for for us friends to uh, demonstrate two of the lower and upper body exercises so it doesn't mean just do two I'm like we worded a little different so pick one lower and one upper body exercise that you did throughout the fitness exercise like the fitness activity and record yourself doing that activity. And also within your own words, um, speaking to the camera, define muscular strength as close as you can. So um, the different times we went over muscular strength, it's really worked on like the power of your muscles of lifting heavy weights of that as well. That's a, like a very, um, it's a very uh, slim down answer to that. Like as I did in my own words. So you guys can put it in your own words as well. So for next week, next week, we're going to be doing practicing modified exercises. So we're going to be doing different fitness exercises that focus on cardiovascular endurance fitness component. So you guys might ask, what is this? What, what's cardiovascular endurance? Well, so if you guys and everybody looks into our next, if they come back and um, join our class next week, it'll be awesome. You guys will find that out and you will need the same equipment. And that is the end of class. And thank you so much, everyone. I wish we were in person, but I'm sure everyone's doing a great job. Thank you.